Well, that's one way to uh, celebrate your 50th game in charge. Yeah, well, it's all about the win. It's all about the win. You know, 50 games in a year. You know, it's, it? yeah, yeah, great way to end the year. We knew it would be a tough game today against Hyde. Um, good football inside, really good football inside, but also we'll battle, and, and, and we saw that in the in the home game when they beat us one nil. Um, so you know, we, we're we're buzzing to just to get the win, and, and I thought second half we obviously did, we we could have pinched two or three more goals, um, but we won't be greedy. You know, we've took two wins over the Christmas period away from home, and uh, we're delighted with it. They came flying out of the traps. Um, were you a bit nervous in those opening five, ten minutes? Not nervous, that's the wrong wording of it, but but I don't think the players expected Hyde to start the way the way they did, and they come right at us. Jay's pulled off and again an unbelievable save um, to keep us to keep it at nil nil. Uh, and, and you know, the, the first half was mostly Hyde, and we've gone up the other end and pushed a couple of goals. Um, and we said at half time, it's about you know, the in game management, second half, controlling the game a little bit better because in the first half, I didn't think we got control of the game at all. Um, so second half, I thought I thought we controlled it. You know, they, they had one or, one or two corners and, and, and one or two shouts for free kicks and, and possibly a penalty. I think at the end, um, but all in all, I thought I thought we controlled the game second half really, really well. And we were really impressed with it. Is that formation something you've been working on? Because obviously Newlows is going to go, and so saw more of four four two with Richie and George going wide. Um, is that what you've been? Well, it was a, obviously a four four two, and a, hopefully when we were in possession, as a four two four. They're good players. They're really good players. We're very adaptable. We can change formations during a game or, or you know, before a game. And the size of the pitch and, and the quality of the, of the surface when it started, you know, we thought warranted, you know, looking at getting the ball wide and getting Richie and, and Jordan to isolate fullbacks. It didn't really work like that. Uh, but what it did do was open up the channels for for Pooley and Danny to get into, and Pooley got his goals from that. Um, so obviously the change worked. Um, you know, obviously we're down in numbers at the minute with a squad, um, and we're working at something to try and get one or two in. But you know, we're more than happy with with the squad we've got. It's like we said it last week. It's it's a great it's a great group of lads, and and a lot of them can play in different positions as well. So they're very adaptable, and it's the same with formations. And how's Scott feeling? Is he uh, still got two to five running around his head? He got hit by a ball <laughs> on his head. I don't. He's, he's fine. We got told him to get up, and he, you know, he's a tough lad, Scott. A really tough footballer, and, and there's no problems there with him. Now I know you said that we're not really going to look up until we're a point behind, but obviously results have gone sort of our way in eight points now. Why? What, what were the results? It's, um, Darlow beat Blythe um, and Nantwich lost. That's brilliant. Boston. Good stuff. Well, that, that, that's good. As I say, you know, we're still what, that eight points behind Blythe and, and three points behind Nantwich. Uh, so um, we're still quite a bit behind. We've just got to concentrate on ourselves. One game at a time. Another game won. Um, and that's all we can keep doing. You know, it's, it, if they, if the, if the other teams lose, it's a bonus. But we can't rely on, on what the other sides are doing. You know, like you say, Darlington to the big blast today, so they're right on our on everybody's heels. Uh, it's going to be a good second half of the season. Yeah, and Dan's going to say finally, pretty good 2015. Do you think we can go even better in 2016? Yeah, yeah, we, ex- we expect to. You know, it's been a, it's been a brilliant two, 2015, but. But nothing more than we expected, you know, when we come in, we, we, we knew we had to hit the ground running and, and, and obviously the FA Cup run was a, was a, a terrific bonus for the boys and, and a lot of reward for the hard work they've done. Um, but it's been a great year and, and, and we'll, you know, we'll have to ensure that the boys are at it again next year.